Hi, I'm Lily, and for today's Stay In Play In, I will be showing you how to make a rollback can. A rollback can is a container like this one that, when rolled forward, rolls back, which is pretty cool. For this activity, you will need an empty jar like this one with a removable lid. This is a peanut butter jar, but you can use any container with a removable lid. For this one, I used an oatmeal container. So, with an adult's help, you will need to poke holes at the front and back of this container. Sometimes you'll break off a little extra of the container, but it's okay. You can just cover it with tape like I did here. You will also need two binder clips or paper clips. I'm going to use paper clips because I only have one binder clip but I use binder clips on this one, so you can use either, as well as rubber bands or hair ties, tape. You can use any kind of tape, but I like to use electrical or duct tape, scissors, and a weight. So the weight is a really important part of a rollback can. I like to use a used battery, but if you don't have a used battery, you can use anything that's about the same size and weight. This is a nine volt battery. They're a good size to do this. You also will need supplies to decorate your robot can. I decorated this one with duct tape. You could also use markers or stickers. First step to make your rollback can is attaching your weight to your rubber bands or hair ties. So how you wanna do that is you want to take a strip of tape and attach your rubber bands to the center of that strip of tape then wrap it around your weight in the center. When you do that, you wanna make sure that everything is centered, and then you can go over it with a few more layers of tape just to make sure it stays there. Now that you have your rubber bands taped to your weight, you want to stretch out your rubber bands beside your container to make sure that they are the right length. So you want your rubber bands to just be about the, when fully stretched out, just be about the length of your container. This helps them stay in place while rolling. And this helps the weight not to hit the edge of the container, which can mess up the can when it rolls back. Once you have this completed, you want to take a rubber, um, you want to take one side of your rubber band and a paper clip. You want to hook the paper clip onto your rubber band like this then use that paper clip to guide your rubber band through the hole at the bottom of your rollback can. Once you have your rubber band through the hole, you can remove the paper clip remove the paper clip and place the paper clip or binder clip if you're using a binder clip between the bottom of the jar and the can, like this. Then you want to repeat the same thing on the then you want to repeat the same thing on the other side. So take your rubber band. On this side, it can be a little bit more difficult for everything to stay in place while you work. So I find it helpful to take a marker and use it to hold the rubber band in place, like this. Then take your paper clip, loop it through the rubber band, like this, and thread the rubber band and paper clip through the lid of your container. Once your rubber band is threaded through the lid, you can remove the marker. Put the lid on your container, then remove the paper clip, and place it between the rubber band and the lid, like this. Now you have a completed rollback can. You can test it out by rolling it forward. And it rolls back, so it works. Then you can decorate your can. When you are decorating your rollback can, it's important to have it standing up so that it doesn't roll away from you while decorating. 